If you know any musicians, singers, players, producers or composers, your social media feeds probably looked a bit like mine did about a year ago as the first lockdown began. I lost track of how many people shared their stories about cancelled work and lost income. Most people were, in some new virtual way, able to continue their lives. But for musicians, it was impossible. So many of my friends joined the hundreds of thousands of freelancers, music students and teachers across the world who, out of nowhere, had no work, no projects and no vocation. At the end of January, the first COVID case in the United States was actually discovered just north of Seattle. And by the end of March, we went, had gone into full lockdown. This is Parker, the director of the Wind Ensemble and Marching Band in a high school on Mercer Island in Seattle. He and his incredibly talented students had, like the rest of the musical world, been forced to stop playing. But he had an idea for how to change that. All over the country and all over the world, teachers were now thrown into a situation where they were compelled to try to provide valuable, important content for their students in a way that was meaningful. And so for us, the idea was, how do we do that in an ensemble performance music based class setting for our students? So we started to think about what's the world that they're living in and what is what is the way that we can use and live within that constraint to provide a creative project for them as well. And all of those things came together to lead to me reaching out to you as a composer and and ask if you'd be interested in connecting with some teenagers on the other side of the world on, on writing a new piece of music. Although it wasn't clear what sort of project this would turn into, what was clear from the outset was the need to do something to inspire the students and to try, despite the difficulties, to make music. We eventually settled on me writing a piece of music for the Mercer Island School's wind band, which they would then put together remotely, with each student recording their part individually at home. These types of projects were ubiquitous during the lockdowns. It was, after all, one of the only ways that musicians could actually make something together. But if you've ever sung in a virtual choir, or you've ever played in a virtual orchestra, you'll know that however much the final product is enjoyable to listen to and to watch, the experience is never the same as performing together in the same room. So we wanted to try and make the process of creating and recording the piece more important than the end result. I met the students early on to talk about my plans for the composition, and once I'd put together a first draft, they then began a process of reflection and feedback. They wrote beautiful descriptions and drew diagrams and paintings in response to listening to the music for the first time. And they came together in their sections to go through the parts and to give suggestions for changes. So we're just sort of concerned about pitch issues above the staff. I guess the first thing that comes to my mind when I'm looking for stuff is like fingerings. I think while we're recording, it would probably be helpful to just have a tuner there. That second set of triplets is just rhythmic stuff. I think, like... So what we were trying to do here was to make something in a truly collaborative way. You know, one of the things that was a goal of this project from the beginning that germinated from the idea was that we all needed something to work on that was going to provide hope and optimism and a real sense of building something. The piece itself, which I called Circles and Paths, is constructed around a very simple idea, a repeating melody that acts as a sort of cantus firmus for the music, giving it a Passacaglia-like feel. It was inspired by Bach's Passacaglia and Fugue in C minor for organ. Although this is a very austere work, what I love about the piece is how each section, each repetition of the bass cantus firmus, feels completely unique in terms of texture. Some are heavy and aggressive. But some are sparkling and full of energy. And it's this idea that I wanted to translate into my piece, a feeling that every section has a unique character. 
Circles and Paths starts with a solo rendition of the Cantus Firmus, and then each subsequent repetition of this melody adds more movement, harmony, and instruments. The second section is a chamber-style rendition, which is repeated at the end. The third moves into compound time with a more uneven bar structure. The fourth section shifts up in tempo and is built around these cascading cluster chords. And the fifth section moves back into simple time with a melody played in low brass and woodwind under a repeating triplet figure. which leads, eventually, into the climax. I wanted to be economical with my musical material, so alongside the Cantus Firmus, there is only one other true melodic idea, a five-note melody played first by a solo clarinet, which turns into cluster chords in sections three and four, and then into a harmonic, melodic, and rhythmical idea during the penultimate section. Once the score was finalised, Parker and his team led the students in practising and rehearsing the music, initially remotely, but gradually as restrictions were lifted, more and more was done in person. And eventually, each student recorded their performances individually to a click track. And what you're hearing now is the result. The music itself is not the important thing. What's important is the process. What's important is the way the students responded to the project, the way we created something together, and how much I, and all of them, and all of their teachers, got out of making music, even if so much of it was done remotely. In 2020, we were thrown into a world where live music making was not only impossible, but also in many circumstances, illegal. It was, for so many people, one of the most difficult things they could experience, cut off from the thing that gives them purpose. So what does it then mean to be a musician in 2021 after all of this? Well, I think of all people, the students who gave so much to this project and who are now finally returning to some form of live music making are best placed to give an answer to this question. So I asked them, what does being a musician mean to you? Being a musician puts a soundtrack to your life. Being a musician has made me more self-aware. Being a musician means meeting all sorts of new people and building connections through music. Being a musician allows me to build connections with others. Being a musician allows me to learn alongside and be inspired by other people. Being a musician lets me connect to a musical community through expression. Being a musician gives so many opportunities and opens up so many doors for you, but it also gives you a safe place of security to confide in. Being a musician isn't about perfection, it's about connection. Being a musician in 2021 means that you really appreciate the time that you have with other people. Being a musician has helped me learn how to be my best self. Being a musician is being able to express yourself. Being a musician is most beautiful together. Being a musician is fickle. Being a musician helps me connect with others. A musician is a painter who paints with sound and emotion. Being a musician is work, but at the end of the day it's worth it. Being a musician brings me the opportunity to meet new people. Being a musician in 2021 means having the opportunity to rekindle one's passion for music by playing with others. Being a musician is like being a part of a rainbow. Being a musician lets me express my emotions without words. Being a musician is solving problems. Being a musician means you're an artist. Being a musician has helped me connect with people, forming some of my most important friendships. Being a musician helps me understand other musicians' perspectives. Being a musician means that I get to have such an awareness and a gratitude for the beauty in the world around me. Being a musician is learning a language devoid of hatred and immune to apathy. Being a musician makes life 10 times more colorful. Being a musician means making something for someone to listen to. Being a musician means that I have the ability to listen to sounds and music around me that other people might not have the ability to listen to. Being a musician means working hard and enjoying the moment. Being a musician brings me closer to people. Being a musician has allowed me to connect to my emotions in a whole new way. Being a musician is fun. 
being a musician has helped me slowly break out of my shell and open up more to people. Being a musician has allowed me to impact not only my family, but my friends. Being a musician has allowed me to interpret and interact with life in a new and amazing way. Being a musician for me is a connection to everything around me, my friends, my family, to the wind, to the world. Being a musician helps me connect with my emotions. Being a musician helps me understand people. Being a musician means making something cool with other people. Being a musician has led me to a place that I belong. To me, being a musician is pure and magical. Being a musician is what brings me life. Thank you so much for watching. I can't thank the students and teachers at Mercer Island High School enough. This has been one of the most rewarding projects I've ever been involved in. And I hope you'll agree that these are some incredibly talented young musicians who have very bright futures ahead of them. If you'd like to watch a performance of the whole piece, then follow the link in the description below. See you next time.